Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 8th of 2025 is titled A Full Moon at Perigee. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a full moon off in the sky, and this is the full moon. As you can see, it's the fully illuminated face of the moon, which happens to be pointed toward Earth at this time. So half of the moon is always illuminated by the sun, and half of the moon is always visible from Earth. But those two don't always line up. That's why we get the various phases of the moon. Sometimes the illuminated portion is pointed away from us, that's what we call new moon, and sometimes it's pointed toward us, which we call full moon. Now, this is the full moon at perigee, which is often called a supermoon. Perigee is the closest approach of an object orbiting Earth. Now, objects orbit in elliptical orbits, so our moon has an elliptical orbit, meaning sometimes it's a little bit closer to Earth, and sometimes it's a little bit farther away. And that will affect how bright it appears in the sky, and how large it appears. So the supermoon here, when it's at perigee, will actually appear a little bit larger in the sky and is a little bit closer, so will also look a little bit brighter. Now, would you notice that? And the answer is probably not. If you're just going out there, you're going to see the full moon, and you're probably not going to notice that it happens to be brighter than a typical full moon, or even larger than a typical full moon. But if you were to compare them side by side, for example, taking pictures with the same type of equipment, and you could take a picture of the full moon when it's at perigee, as this image is, and you can do it again when it is at apogee, you could definitely see a distinct difference in the size of the moon. Now, there were actually three supermoons this year. This is the third of those three and is actually the closest and brightest, meaning that the full moon occurred closest to the time of perigee itself. Now, you can also have what is sometimes called a micro-moon. Now, a micro-moon would occur when the full moon occurs at apogee or when the moon is at its greatest distance from Earth. That also means that it's going to look a little bit smaller and fainter. So again, if you could compare those two side by side, you'd be able to tell the difference. But you'll have a hard time just by going out and looking at the moon, if you didn't know anything else, of knowing whether the moon is at perigee or at apogee. And that is simply because the difference is not that great. You're not going to notice a tremendous difference. It's not that the moon is half as big or twice as big at one of these times, it's a matter of a few percent change that it will occur. And therefore, it's noticeable if you're making measurements, but not noticeable easily to the casual observer. So here we see the full moon from November 5th, just a few days ago, when it was at its closest approach to Earth, or perigee, which makes it the last supermoon of the year. So that was our picture of the day for November 8th of 2025. It was titled A Full Moon at Perigee. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be on the road. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.